My name is Bill Brown. I am the Division Manager of Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems Chemicals and Minerals Division here in Summit, New Jersey. Let me introduce our MicroACM Easy Access Air Classifying Mill. Before I begin with the disassembly, please make sure the mill is disconnected from any power source and you follow all lockout tagout procedures. For demonstration purposes, I've already removed the bolts holding the, the mill cover down as well as the inlet and outlet tri-clamp connections and ducts. So the first thing you do is open the mill. For the larger mills, we, ha we utilize gas struts which assist on opening and closing the cover. For this size mill, it's light enough where it's not needed. The first thing we do is, the tri-clamps are already removed, but the first thing we, we do is remove this inlet stub. And this inlet stub actually holds the liner segment in place as well as a baffle shroud assembly so it doesn't rotate. We simply now remove the baffle shroud assembly. Next, we remove the liner with backing ring. Now we have access to the hammer rotor assembly. To remove the rotor disc, simply remove the nut and the washer. Again, for demonstration purposes, I loosened it previously. Now the rotor disc can be removed. And then the liner support ring can then be taken out. And finally, the classifier wheel. As with the rotor disc, I took a wrench to it to loosen up the nut for demonstration purposes. So once the nut is removed, the classifier wheel can be pulled off the shaft. Now we have full access to the internal of the mill, internals of the mill. And one can either do a dry cleaning or a wet cleaning. Now for wet cleaning, we have a drain and plug assembly in the bottom. Simply remove the plug so that when you do a wet cleaning, the, the water or effluent can drain out. Now I'll assemble the ACM. I'll start with installing the classifier wheel. For demonstration purposes, I'm only going to snug this by hand, not use a wrench. Next, I will install the liner support ring. Followed by the rotor disc assembly. Again, for demonstration purposes, I'm only going to snug this nut by hand, but a wrench is needed. I'll next install the liner with backing ring and make sure that the, the cutout for the feed inlet matches the cutout in the grinding chamber for the feed tube. Then I'll install, set the baffle and shroud assembly in place. Now we can install the feed inlet stub, which again holds the liner backing ring in place. Now the mill can be closed. So once we close the mill, simply install the, reinstall the bolts, reinstall the feed inlet and outlet tri-clamp connections, and that completes the assembly. The air classifying mill works as follows. For demonstration purposes, I'll remove the baffle shroud assembly. Downstream of the air classifier mill, we have a blower, which pulls a vacuum on the system. We have two inlet points, two air inlet points on the mill. The primary air inlet, which pulls uh, air, the airflow up from the bottom of the rotor disc, as well as a small amount of bleed air, which carries the feed particles in. Here we're showing the feed tube, or the feed entry, into the grinding zone. So the feed particles enter the path of the hammers here. What we're showing here is a, is a bar rotor assembly capable of speeds up to about 22 to 23,000 feet per minute. Additionally, we're showing the multiple deflector liner, which redirects the particles back to the path of the hammers for more efficient grinding. 
The baffle shroud was removed, but the purpose of the baffle shroud assembly is to redirect the flow of the particles in the air from the grinding zone and present it upwards to the air classifier. The air classifier is operated at different speeds to control the top size. As the particles are introduced to the classifier wheel, if the particles are, are too large, then they're rejected by the, by the veins of the classifier, drop down to the center of the rotor, and fan outward due to the centrifugal forces. So in essence, what we have is an internal recirculation in the mill. As the particles, if the particles are fine enough, they're removed through the classifier wheel, they go through the veins, go through the volute section, and are carried out and collected either to a downstream cyclone or dust collector.